Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a Bounty Hunter break. This is 2022-23 Panini Prism Basketball 4 box. Pick your team at number 17. There's the Bounty Hunter numbers right here. This is what we're looking for. Exactly those numbers. Right? You could have, you know, the worst team and, as long, and you can get the worst player on the worst team, whatever you perceive to be the worst player. As long as it's 196 out of 299, $1,500 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. So thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with me. 23, 23, 4, 23, 23. Pick your team 17, Matthew with double last spot mojo. And if you have Prism 12 next name, that means you won that in that particular Prism pack filler. I grabbed uh, four random boxes from the cabinet. And let's get into it. Um, so I, I fixed myself a little bit of a three-day weekend to San Diego, ladies and gentlemen. I had a good time there. Um, but that also means I missed a little sports with you guys. So what happened on Thursday? Sixers beat the Nets on Thursday, 102 to 97. Tyrese Maxey went off for 25 points. He's having a nice playoffs. Um, Warriors beat the Kings 114 to 97, and Suns beat the Clippers by 5, 129 to 124. Then on Saturday, or I'll check that on Friday, Hawks beat the Celtics, that's right, 130 to 122. Knicks beat the Cavs 99 to 79. Nuggets beat the T Wolves to take a 3 0 lead in that series. And then on Saturday, last night, Sixers beat the Nets to sweep the series, 96 to 88. Suns beat the Clippers, 112 to 100. I don't I think they're out without. I think they're without Kawhi in that game yesterday. It's gonna be tough to win the series without those two guys. Suns lead 3-1. Heat beat the uh, Bucks, 121 to 99. No Giannis. Uh, for a couple games, so Miami leads the series 2-1. And then my Lakers outscored the Grizz 35-9 in the first quarter. They went on to beat the Grizzlies 111-101. I don't think, I don't think they, that lead was ever in... The game never seemed to be in danger. My Lakers lead 2-1. Is Embiid out? I know Oladipo is out. I think... Uh, you think the Lakers almost blew? I was watching that game. I don't think it was ever in danger. I think they had like, they were resting some guys. I think I think that game felt like they were. Uh, that game felt like they was in control. You know, LeBron only played thirty six minutes, but if you can give like seventeen minutes to Troy Brown Jr., thirteen minutes to Malik Beasley, you know that's that's pretty good. I'll take that. And then today, Knicks beat the Cavs 102-93, taking a 3-1 lead. So that should be should be a series win for them. Warriors, this was a great game. Um, Warriors beat the Kings 126-125. That series is tied at two. I feel like... Uh, I feel like I can't... What, what channel is this game on? T oh, TNT. I feel like that Kings Warriors series could go seven. And uh, live right now, um, Celtics at Hawks. Celtics lead the series 2-1. They're up 40 to 32 right now. All right, good luck, everybody. Remember the hyper parallels not numbered. And of course, all cards ship. I have to mute and adjust my microphone really quick. Actually move this bounty card over here. Now remember, red waves, not numbered. King Murray, I think, had a nice game today. We got Orange Miles Turner, 
47 out of 49. Uh, it was a, uh, well, I think the game before Rex, Dylan Brooks hit LeBron James in the, uh, the special area, and that guy was ejected from the game, Dylan Brooks. All right, we got a rookie silver, Josh Minot for the Timberwolves. That's for Jonathan. And luck of the lottery, insert. Silver, though, Jonathan. All right, our first autograph behind Dwight Powell is... Sensational rookie signatures, Keon Ellis. And then, then the game after that incident, Dylan Brooks yesterday only went 19 minutes. Only seven points for him. Or no, maybe, this, no, yeah, Saturday, yesterday was the game where he was ejected. Sorry, my, my, my brain's a blur right now. Uh, that's uh, Peter. And then 283 out of 299. We needed 196, but here's Dwight Powell for the Mavs. Ah, what happened the game before? Oh, these pulsars are not numbered too, by the way, but everything ships. What happened the game before, Rex, was that uh, Dylan Brooks had poked the bear and said, uh, LeBron's old, blah, 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 blah. It was to 75, Reggie Jackson. And then the fall, here's Jaden Ivey as well, base for Detroit, that'll be for Scott. And then got himself ejected the game after he called LeBron old. Reggie Jackson for the Clippers going to Oliver. Oh, nice purple ice Paolo Benchero. 83 out of 149. Jonathan Sayer, do you believe in magic? Nice, real nice. Got an AI, Sixer, Silver. And we've got one more auto here behind Carl Anthony Towns. It's Wendell Moore Jr. Rookie auto for the T-Wolves. Jonathan with that one as well. Nice box for Jonathan Sayer. And that's 67 out of 149 for that purple ice. All right, nice start. Next box. All right. How, uh... How far do you think the Lakers can go? I suppose they'll go as far as as far as Anthony Davis and LeBron James as far as long as they're healthy. Terry was mentioning earlier, you know, you can't, you can't goof around in the playoffs. You really gotta you really gotta step on teams next when they're down. I'm not let them get it back into games. Which I agree with. I think the you know, the NBA playoffs is quite long, <laughs> you know. So I wonder if that's just something that I hope. And every playoff team that makes a deep run has, has a narrative, has a story, right? I wonder if, if the Lakers keep winning, if they're going to kind of develop that identity throughout the playoffs. I hope so. Defensively, 
they're really showing that part of their identity, I think. You know, they're, so they're looking good there. Um, you know, guys like Austin Reeves, guys like Hachimura have been excellent options. You know, if one guy is cold, another guy will, will, be, will be hot. Jared Vanderbilt might not be putting up the, the, the counting stats, but he's making it count defensively. So, I mean, I think since the trade that the Lakers made, they've been one of the, I think they've been one of the best seasons, or one of the best teams record-wise from that point of the season on. For, for whatever that's worth, but you can stay healthy. It's going to be great. There's Chris Mullen. What's up, Gilo? Yeah, Gabe, okay, yeah, they're, they're a little long. Was the first rounds always seven games? Here's a nice Jade and Ivy. 25 out of 75. Nice, that red checkerboard pattern or whatever they're calling it these days that's going to go to scott and detroit there you go scott to 75 should we put some respect on that parallel let's I'm, now i'm curious i want to see what's officially called they used to call it power i want to say at one point i don't know if they sometimes they change the names up on you Standby, cardboardconnection.com, 2023, Prism Basketball. Is it, oh, is it still power? Yeah, you're, yeah, red power prisms are to 75. There you go, nice one, Scott. Scott bought that team straight up. We've got a blue Evan Mobley. 63 out of 199. That's for the Cavs. It'll be for Robert. Did it used to be five games? For the first round? Here's a Jalen Williams Pulsar. This is Santa Clara Jalen Williams. Another Jaden Ivey. The Santa Clara Jalen Williams a little more highly touted than his in the Arkansas Jalen Williams, but still, still solid. Here's Scotty Pippen Jr., rookie silver, and there's a redemption. So in that Beauchamp is for 30, uh, 34, 94 out of 299. Red for the Bucks. That's going to go to Sean TKO. Scotty Pippen Jr. will go to the Lakers. Stephen P. Ooh, we got some gold coming up. It's Cam Johnson, 7 out of 10. For the Sun, still Sun's edition here, Jonathan with Phoenix. Mobley fouled out today. In 0203, they went to a seven game series. Hmm. That Cavs team, though, it's pretty good. You know, it'll be interesting to see what they can add this season, in the off season, and you know who they can bring in and improve that team. There's Kevin Huter for the Kings, blue, and there's Jason Terry. Sensational signatures. Dallas. Jose Olmos with the Mavs. Blue Kevin Huter will go to the Kings. That'll be for Peter. 60 out of 199. There's uh, Evan's brother, Isaiah Mobley. Pokosevsky, purple, 88 out of 99. Sorry, Alexi. Let's grab that. Sleeve it. Jonathan with the Thunder. And uh, Robert with the rookie Pulsar with Mobley.
Joe Pizzle, what's going on, Joe Pizzle, Pokes Bears? All right, and we've got the redemption is Peyton Watson. Sensational signatures, Peyton Watson. And Peyton is a Spur, no, is a Denver Nugget. That's going to go to Mark and Denver. Yeah, I mean, and then what happened the next game after he said all that? Joe Pizzle. Gets himself ejected. Now I... Yeah, yeah, from Joe, hey, if Joe Pizzle doesn't even care about the Lakers, but... But he, he hopes that Memphis gets smoked. I do too, Joe Pizzle. I do too. I'll ha I have to admit, though, I don't, um, I don't mind the trash talk. You know, but, uh, but they're, they're getting a reputation for being a team that trash talks a lot. But... Maybe talks a little little too much without showing they, they can do anything in the playoffs. But hey, I like I, I you know there's Lakers still have to still have to win the next one and then the next one you know but I'm happy with where the Lakers are positioned. Memphis is definitely becoming a little bit of a villainous sort of team. <laughs> they, they are. That's why the playoff, we were just talking about how long the playoffs take, but, you know, the, the days off in between a lot of games has, has certainly helped the Lakers. Although not this next game. I think it's only one night and then they play tomorrow. But I think they give them a lot of time in between road games. I think for all the teams, right? Here's Red Wave, Trevor Keels for the Knicks, Scott. Tyree Halliburton, Orange Wave to 60. Another Jalen Williams. Although, yeah, I think eventually every team will get, at some point or another, will get like a big block of rest. I think it's not just the Lakers just getting it. Although, it was nice after... I think the Lakers probably played the most games with the least amount of days off in the last couple weeks of the season, just a weird scheduling thing. All right, we got Red Austin Reeves and behind him, his teammate, Max Christie. Sensational signatures. Rookie auto going to Stephen P. and my Lakers, who won that team in the filler. Red Austin Reeves, 95 out of 299. Also for Stephen and the Lakers. Here's Ray Allen, Purple Ice, and Vince Williams Jr. Rookie auto for Memphis. That's gonna go to Justin and the Grizzlies. I kinda wish, Gilo, 
that uh, that both that Paul George and Kawhi were playing, I think it would be a bit more of a competitive matchup, Seri- a bit more of a competitive series, but that just hasn't materialized. There's Ray Allen, 15 out of 149. That'll go to the Thunder, Jonathan. Anthony Simons to 99, 42 out of 99. We need 24. We needed those digits to be reversed for uh, for Evan in Portland, but we'll still get the Simons card. There's Diabate for the Clippers, 180 out of 199. That'll be for Oliver. Yeah, I'm liking that Golden State. Is that that's the series that that has most seems like most likely to go seven, right? Which would be pretty long. Would be our long series. Could could be a game seven. There's Ryan Rollins, uh, rookie silver for the Warriors. That'll be for Ronald. We've got a Jalen Williams, Santa Clara Jalen Williams. Hyper for the Thunder, Jonathan with OKC. All right, final box coming up. Next uh, next four box break is in the store right now. No filler yet. And a, um, it's, it's a bounty as well. Bounty Hunter break, chance to win some big break credit from us. I know, yeah, I heard I, Steph Curry doing the Chris Webber. Mickey, what's up? NBA playoffs is too long. MLB playoffs is like 14% of the regular season. And the NBA is 34% of the regular season? Wow. Well, that's what it used to be, right? We were just talking about that. I think early 2000s, Mickey, they made the change. First round used to be a five-game series. Yeah, now, now that's a seven-game series. The next round's a seven-game series. The semifinals and... Speaking of the semifinals, um, looks like uh, well, New York's up three-one. It's a pretty pretty sizable lead. You've got to think that they are going to advance. And they're going to face the winner of Milwaukee, Miami. It'd be crazy if if Giannis can't go and if Milwaukee's bounce gets bounced in the first round. That'd be kind of crazy. Uh, Philadelphia sw- swept the Nets, so they're going to face whoever wins this series: Boston, Atlanta. Mark Williams, rookie silver for Charlotte. Looks like Denver. Denver's up 3 no, 3-0. Looks like they're going to comfortably win that series and face um, whoever wins that Phoenix Clippers series. And then the winner of the Sacramento Golden State series will meet whoever wins the Memphis uh Memphis Lakers series. There's Red Wave Lamello. And there's Purple Ice Reggie Bullock revealing a Doug McDermott sensational signature for uh, the Spurs. William for the San Antonio Spurs. Now, Delara is saying Curry didn't know they lost the timeout on the challenge. Reggie Bullock, 126 out of 149 for uh, the Mavs. That's going to be for Jose. Was it because he wasn't paying attention? I didn't watch play. I only heard it. Um, Because he wasn't paying attention or because the refs didn't say? Or the refs were not clear?
It's Red Power, Franz Wagner, 26 out of 75. For Orlando, that's going to be for Jonathan. Red Wave, Gary Payton. Here's another Jalen Williams. Hyper parallel. Nice rookie hyper for the Thunder. That'll also be for Jonathan. Christoph Porzingis, 008 out of 299. There's a base Paolo Banchero for Jonathan and the Magic. Porzingis for Matthew and the Wizards. That's going to be 008 out of 299 once again. Chet Holmgren, base rookie for the Thunder. That'll be for Jonathan. Bobby Portis, 25 out of 99. <laughs> Just one off the bounty. Bobby Portis could have gotten Sean TKO some money, but just one off. We got Oshai Agbaji for the Jazz for David. Rookie Red Wave. We should have one more auto, right? There it is. Behind Blue Pokosevsky is Paolo Banchero. Autograph. Jonathan Sayer and the Orlando Magic with some Banchero ink. That's the kind of stuff we want to see. And there's 25 out of 199. Pokosevsky for the Thunder. That's also for Jonathan. Those are spots he bought straight up. No bounties, but a nice break in the books, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We've got another four box break in the store. So get in there and check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.